It's a Woman's World, a show which looks at any and all topics under the sun from a woman's point of view. Hosted by Ali Naifani and co-hosted by Uma Janga and Dr. Susan Strauss. Here's Ali. Well, we are about to have a very interesting conversation about experiences in moving to the United States from a different country. And before we get into our conversation with our guests, Uma, you've yes. certainly had this experience, haven't oh, you? Yeah, you're absolutely right, Ali. Oh, yeah. I came to U.S. like when I was 20. Mm -hmm. I just got married. Mm -hmm. It's an arranged marriage. Yes. My husband was doing MS here and he mm -hmm. got a job, so it's an arranged marriage. I came here. It was totally so different, mm -hmm. culture-wise, mm -hmm. cuisine-wise, everything was so different, totally mm -hmm. different people too. Mm -hmm. And more than that, first of all, the language, the accent I couldn't follow, yep. what they were talking about. And so those kind of, you know, so many issues were there too. Yeah. But I, more than all, but above all that, I enjoyed everything. Though people were so nice to uh -huh. me, so it. But it took time for me to yeah. adjust here. Though. Yeah, an adjustment, I suppose, between, of course, and you came from India, so mm -hmm. the cultural change of coming from Definitely. a country that you grew up in. Yes. Um, as you said, you came when you were twenty, and yes. then you moved here to yes. the U.S. to start. Mm -hmm. Would you say we're starting new a, life. a new life? New Is life. That right? <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, we have some guests with us um, who are from the Netherlands, and I'd like to introduce them now, um, and they're going to tell us about their experience. We'd like to start with Carolyn Moores. Welcome. Thank you so much for having us. And I um, would like you to say your first name because Carolyn has been on the show with us before mm -hmm. and she says her name so beautifully. So wow. I cannot oh. miss this oh, moment. You. So please. Okay. Caroline. Thank you. Caroline. Love it. Love it. Oh, thank you. And uh, your two daughters are with us. We have Joanne and we have Lisa. So. Welcome to the show. Thank, thank you. you. Thank yeah. you so much. Could you please tell us uh, more about your background here so we'll know mm -hmm. where you're from and what are experiences here in the U.S.? Yeah, sure. So we were actually born in the U.S. Mm -hmm. and we were born in Florida and later also moved to Minnesota. Mm -hmm. But before we were three, we already moved back to Holland. Mm -hmm. oh. So we grew up there and lived there until we were 10 and then we moved back to the U.S. Oh, okay. so, yeah. so actually born in Florida, as mm -hmm. you said, and then lived in Minnesota, then went back to the Netherlands. Yes. And so, um, so Lisa, when you went back to the ne Netherlands, and, and, and I understand that was you were three at that yeah. time, <laughs> do you have some distinct memories from, from that time? Do you remember? Um, I don't remember anything. Okay. The Netherlands is all I can remember. Uh -huh. So Dutch is our first language, and... It's as if we were born there, basically. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Was it language a problem here after you came here? Wow. Um, well, at first we really didn't understand the word. We would sit in class, and I just didn't know what they were talking about at all. <laughs> but we got used to it very quickly because mm -hmm. everyone around you just speaks English. And you just oh. pick it up really quickly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true because at least English was a second language there back in India, so I was able to make it out what they were talking. Okay. But for you, I think it's not even... <laughs> A lang second language or something in your school, mm -hmm. I believe. So it must have been very difficult for you. Yeah, Can we you we would have learned English the year after we moved, so we just missed it. So we hadn't had any English oh, lessons yet. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And Carolyn, you also, of course, had a move to this country as well. To right. Can you tell us about that? Sure. So the first move was um, a couple of years before Lisa and Joanne were born, mm -hmm. and it was because of my husband's work. Okay. Um, and we had moved already. He used to work in the UK, mm -hmm. in England, okay. for his job. So, mm -hmm. um, And we really appreciate moving because it helps us um, grow personally mm -hmm. and learn to adapt and uh, so when we moved here to the U.S. the first time, we were very excited. Uh, but obviously, it was much easier for us because we had already learned how to speak English. And we were obviously grown-ups. But if you imagine mm -hmm. girls at the age of 10 mm -hmm. and their brother being 7, mm -hmm. having to leave everything behind. Yes. You know, your neighborhood, your house, everything mm -hmm. you know, the food, but mostly family and friends. Mm -hmm. That was very impactful. That's true. Mm -hmm. So what did you like or, or dislike mm -hmm. the most here in U.S.? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, the hardest part for me, the move, was just not seeing my family and friends. Okay. But for the rest, I just was astounded by everything here because everything's so big and mm -hmm. so different. Yep. And yeah, it's just so many new experiences. Mm -hmm. oh. May I interject yeah. something? It's so, so funny to remember that in the beginning, Joanne mm -hmm. used to say, Mom, mm -hmm. it's like we're driving in a movie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh that's a good way to think of it. Oh, my. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
So, how, how about the cuisine? So, did you find it uh, like very different here from your cuisine, or? <laughs> well, what is very different? I love your yes. cuisine, and oh, okay. I think that there are more differences between your Indian oh. cuisine and the American. Mm -hmm. But there are definitely differences. So, maybe you wanna wanna say a little about. Um. Yes. Maybe. Well, it's mostly just the stuff you eat every day too. Mm -hmm. Like the candy is different. Everything's different. The yeah. drinks are different. And we don't have bagels in the Netherlands. Okay. And we just eat different things for breakfast and mm -hmm. for lunch. And we had to find things we liked again. And mm -hmm. So we'd go to the supermarket and just try all these things. We had no idea what was what. And was that oh, a fun. fun experience to go and just kind of try something? Uh, and, yeah. Most of it was fun, but mm -hmm. sometimes we found stuff we didn't like at all. Right, and right. that was a little less, but most of it was most fun. Most of it was a good time. Yeah, you could just do it every yeah. And so I know from, from our culture in India, you know, everything we eat is very, is, is generally has, has some flavor, like yeah, a spicy, yes, there's spicy. a flavor component mm -hmm. to it. If we, like here, and I remember when my mother came to this country, she was given a piece of ham, and oh. she was like, where's the sauce? Like, it was just <laughs> this pink meat, yeah. and she was so thrown off. But, mm -hmm. so you could really yes, also relate to that. All bland food here, yeah. we are so used to eating spicy food. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So all, everything, wherever we go to a restaurant, or they, everywhere there's bland and food, I feel like, what is this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. like, yeah. So yeah, that's, that's a totally different experience. It, yeah. it is, and it, is there? We had talked about before the be, being kind of feeling like bicultural, like living uh, or having the experience of living in two worlds. Mm -hmm. Can you talk to us a little bit about that and what yeah. that was like for you? Definitely, a lot of times, um, my friends ask me, "Where do you?" Like, where would you rather live? Which one do you like oh, better? Okay. Uh -huh. And I really can't answer that because mm -hmm. I love it both equally. Mm -hmm. wow. And I feel really Dutch because all of my family's there and I also speak the language. Mm -hmm. But then, I mean, I live here now, so it's just, yeah, I feel the pull from both sides, Feel really. the pull, yeah. yeah. I think that's a common thing. Definitely. W would you say? Definitely. Like, yeah. That's a common thing. I, was, I also wish, like, you know, one thing, like, if my family is here, then mm -hmm. I would love my this place, like, much, much, okay. much, much more. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. That's the only thing I miss a lot, right, actually. Right. Can you relate Definitely. to that, too? Like, yeah. yeah, us too. Definitely. First, it was kind of the food and just everything else, but uh -huh. now, since we're used to it here, mm -hmm. it's really just the people. Yeah, uh, Definitely. Miss. Yeah. Yeah. Don't and especially when you have maybe aging or ill family mm -hmm. members, mm -hmm. right? So That's their so grandparents right. are very mm -hmm. aging, mm -hmm. and every time in our hearts we have to say goodbye and have to make sure that yeah. we say and do everything that we want to say and right. do, right. because it can always be the yes. last time, right? Yes. Yes. That's yeah. a good point. My parents are here right now, so oh, I nice. cannot tell for sure that they can come next year too or something, right. because they are getting old too. Sure. You know, they mm -hmm. can travel. Well, it's 24 mm -hmm. hours flight. Who can you know? Right. It's it's too much for right. them. Yeah. So I can I can understand. Mm -hmm. I think that's a really interesting point. You can't um, just get in a plane and get there yes. in two hours. You no, can't jump in a car. It's right? uh, it's uh, reaching out and, and mm -hmm. what about those um, like the special family moments that happen that yes. that you may have to miss. Mm -hmm. Can yeah. have you experienced that too? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, twice. Um, I missed actually many weddings. My cousin's weddings, I was to feel so bad. Yeah. Oh right. my goodness, yeah. I'm not able to attend my cousin's yeah. wedding. Right. Yeah. Right. It's yeah. not that easy to no. just, you know, it's 24 hours flight. We have to plan a lot. Yeah. We can just go and just come back in a day. Yeah. We have so many commitments here too, as, yeah. mm -hmm. you know. That's exactly right. How about, how about both of you? Can you relate yeah. to that? Um, two of our cousins actually. Um, just had kids, so oh, one of them okay. had twins, and the other one had a son. Mm -hmm. So we weren't able to be there when they were born, obviously. But then, luckily, over spring break, we were able to go back to the Netherlands and see all our family. Mm -hmm. So we got to see them, but we won't get to see them grow up or anything. We'll mm -hmm. just see them once every couple of years. So we don't really have a bond with them, mm -hmm. That's which is true. kind of sad. Yeah. That's true. And yeah. especially since it's twin girls, mm -hmm. yeah, that, that they would yeah. obviously would like to bond <laughs> sure. with, right? Yeah, yeah. I still yeah. bad too. When my daughter goes after a long period of time, she mm -hmm. says, oh, she, he has grown up, mommy. When mm -hmm. she sees my brother's daughter, right. no, they yeah. didn't see, you know, they didn't mm -hmm. get a chance mm -hmm. to get along with them. and. I feel bad when yeah. I think about that. We missed out on some of those Mrs. connections. Mrs. Moments, like. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah, definitely. Yeah. What about um, like uh, as you went to school here? Now you told us you started it in uh, international school. Is mm -hmm. that right? When yes. you first came, so mm -hmm. tell tell us was that experience helpful? Like as you start, you know, you came into this country and and, and lived here. Can you tell us about that? It was that? definitely helpful yeah. because it was a much smaller school, so mm -hmm. it wasn't as intimidating. Mm -hmm. 
And it was also, there were a lot of international students there, so we weren't the only one that didn't speak English mm -hmm. or had a different culture, mm -hmm. which really helped. And the teachers there, they knew kind of what we were going through, and they helped us along with it. Mm -hmm. So that really helped. And then by the time we were used to the U.S., we switched to a public high school, Minnetonka mm -hmm. High School, and then it was just a perfect fit because mm -hmm. we had the opportunity to kind of grow up here mm -hmm. in a protected environment at the mm -hmm. international school. Oh, so mm -hmm. was the school cu curriculum very different from yours there in Dutch? Yeah, or is in Holland, <laughs> the lower school, you don't really have any homework or tests. Oh, you my. kind of go outside and play. It's just a different education system. Mm -hmm. And there, ec the academics are really rigorous, so we were oh. kind of thrown into it. Mm -hmm. But I think oh. it paid off. Okay. Yeah, and also another difference is that in the Netherlands at an elementary school, we had combined classes, so fourth and fifth grade would be together, and then third and fourth grade too. And we were in some of those combined classes. Mm -hmm. So you just talk to everybody, kind of, and mm -hmm. you just know everyone. And here it's really different because, especially in elementary school and middle school, you really divide it up by grades and classes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's just stricter with like recess and things like that. Because in the Netherlands, people are pretty independent because it's so small and you just bike everywhere. Okay. You just walk to your friend's house, and here, you definitely can't do that. Yeah. So it's just very different. That's what I heard too. Even they bike uh, there to work also. That's mm -hmm. what I heard in mm -hmm. your country, right? They bike yes. a lot. Mm -hmm. oh, yes. They Everywhere. walk a lot. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah that's uh, really good. That's, that is quite a change, change from, yeah. from here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, we were, we were talking about family before. And so one of the things I was just wondering is um, how do you communicate with family? Do you use like Skype? Do you use um, email? Or do you yeah. use any of those new technology mm -hmm. systems? Yeah, we um, mainly so mostly email uh -huh. our family. Or use Facebook. Yeah, or okay. use Facebook. Or Facebook. Facebook. Oh, sure. <laughs> Facebook yeah. is wonderful, yeah. And I'm the one who Skypes, but yeah. you don't do that. No, right? you don't Skype no, as no, much. No, no. Okay. I do, though. No. Do you find it Facebook? So, like, what I find is when we go to sleep at night, then uh, when I get up in the morning, there'll be a lot of tech Text. or a, oh. a lot of posts from India because yes. they're up, obviously, with the time yes. difference. Yes. Yes. Right. Do you notice that too? Yeah, we have to find like that time in our morning yeah. where it's like an afternoon yeah. in the Netherlands where you can talk to them. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little time window. Interesting. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's mm. really and um, so one of the things I was wondering is um, being um, th that you came from the Netherlands, had your experience in the Netherlands, came to this country, as you are in your high school now you, and you're with your friends, do you have any experiences where their parents or th who have maybe grown up in this culture, they're all from this culture, they know things or they can relate to experiences where Maybe in your family, you didn't know about certain things. Can you relate to this at all? Or like you, you might hear your friends say, my mom went th to prom, for example, or my mom had this experience, versus maybe your mom didn't have that experience because she grew up in a different country. Is there anything there you can all speak yeah, about? Definitely. I'd say a little, yeah, because sometimes when the just school-related things, mm -hmm. like for state testing or with sport, sport games mm -hmm. and dances. Mm -hmm. Other moms will kind of know what to do, and my mom, <laughs> she didn't grow up there, so right. she has no idea. Different. So we kind of have to rely on our friends to help yeah. us. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that's what happened what with my you? daughter, too. Okay. Same thing. I don't know much about Brahms or whatever. There's yeah. so many new terms I'm learning from yeah. her. Yeah. I told her I'm not used to all this, yeah. you know, so I have no idea how to dress mm -hmm. her up or, you know. Right, yeah. I think that's one thing when you are in you know, from two cultures. It's something that um, I think something the children experience because um, naturally um, you're supposed to know how to do some of these things, and, yeah. and sometimes you just can't relate to that. And right. what about what you, Carolyn? Do you have a perspective as a mom on that? As as your daughters have come home and said, we need to do this or that? Is that yeah, I, it always makes me curious because it gives me an opportunity to learn something, exactly. right? So I try right. and mm -hmm. contact parents of their friends yeah. and, mm -hmm. and just ask, you know, neighbors, you know, yeah. how does this work and how does that work? So, yeah. um, and I love new experiences. So, and I, I know that both they and, and their brother have also grown tremendously personally and in resilience and adaptability. Yeah. So that's what we generally emphasize when we encounter any of these challenges yeah, that it yeah. also has a 
very good side to right. it. So yes. I, I would yeah. say some of the words, if I were to ask you just how you think this experience has been for them or how uh -huh. they've how they've landed after th going through these experiences, you you brought out some interesting words, resiliency mm -hmm. and right. adaptability mm -hmm. to, maybe to change and mm -hmm. um, experience. Absolutely. Okay. They're very open to change. Uh -huh. uh, and we realize we're very fortunate, uh -huh. right, yeah, exactly. that we had the privilege of learning about different cultures, not just through textbooks, but by living there. I think we're very fortunate and we're very grateful to be able to live here and enjoy the many wonderful things from uh, from mm -hmm. the US. Mm -hmm. That's very true. Take for example high school graduation too. I never knew they here they celebrate that I as see. a big graduation right. but they're back right. in India unless you finish off your bachelor's degree which is three years after that high school uh -huh. you don't even take that as a college degree right? right. Here right. they that's see true. that's so many different things. Mm -hmm. I came to know that you celebrate this has high school graduation too as a big event it's you know you invite here. friends yeah. you make yeah. big party yeah. mm -hmm. i never knew that yeah. very <laughs> yeah. good point yeah. Yeah. is that similar to you or yeah is definitely that, yeah. yeah and it's also the whole school spirit not just graduation but mm -hmm. like sporting events like football games mm -hmm. and well first of all in the netherlands you don't have them with your school mm -hmm. you don't even really play football it's just soccer mainly <laughs> okay but you don't have school soccer teams it's mm -hmm. club soccer teams mm -hmm. so you don't really have any school spirit and you don't have like well, you do have school dances, but you don't really come together. You don't have, like, Tonka pride or anything oh, okay. like that. Sure, sure. <laughs> so it's just really different. But I really like it. It's really fun. Okay. Yeah. Would you, um, Joanna or Lisa, would you like to go back and live in the Netherlands someday? Yeah, I'd really like would, that. Yeah. I would, like, I was thinking about maybe if I could, it would be really fun to just go there for a year in college or something mm -hmm. or... Probably not in the same town, but just be closer to my family sure. and be back in that culture. It'd be okay. really fun. Okay. Yeah, same here. Same I was thinking that too. Yeah. I don't think I'd want to live there for the rest of my life yeah. or anything. And I don't know if I would want to have kids there, mm -hmm. but definitely for at least a year, go back there and live there for okay. a while. Okay. So, yeah. as a mom, how do you think they are doing? So, what do you think? Oh, about that? oh that's, <laughs> I'm going to give you a biased answer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm extremely proud and happy with how they developed. I think they're wonderful young ladies. Yes. Uh, so I'm very thankful. Yes. And we are yes. very thankful for all of you for coming on the show. Yeah. And oh, how, no, thank you. So help thank us. You. How do you say thank you in yes. Dutch? Thank you, El. Oh, say it one more time. Thank you, El. Thank you, right. All right, wonderful. Well, we <laughs> thank you so much for being with us. Oh, thank, we you. thank you. Having well, good conversation, and we we'll hope you. you come again sometime. Mm. Yeah. Wonderful. So too. Next up, Elements a la Ali. Well, welcome to the studio kitchen. Today we are going to cook up two very healthy and I think delicious treats. We're going to start with some guacamole and then we're going to make some banana smoothies using almond milk. So, to get started, first of all, I want to introduce Coach Ron Andy Auntie. This is my aunt who has been on the show with us before. I just want to say welcome back to you and thanks for being here today. Thank you, Ali. I'm so happy to be here. Well, happy you. to have you. And of course, Uma is here oh. with us as well. Thank you, Ali. Thank All you right. for having me here. Well, should we get started? Yeah. Sure. Okay. I'm, I'm ready to eat. Are you ready to eat? <laughs> okay. Well, we got we to gotta get going then. Yep. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make our guacamole. And yep. so this, of course, here is an avocado. Mm -hmm. And with an avocado, you have to cut it right down the middle. And as you can see, as it's coming open, this is the seed of the avocado. Mm -hmm. And Uma, I'm going to hand you this half. Sure. And guacamole, of course, is like a dip, right? It's yes. A, and it's typically eaten with um, tortilla chips. Any type of chips, yep. you know, chips. Let's, let's take a look at that seed. Look how big that seed is in that thing. Oh, and sometimes wow. this is really hard to get out of the avocado. Yes. Um, but it magically came out today. And it looks so it? good, too. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. That vibrant Basic. green color, yeah, right? Perfect. Oh. And Uma, you're doing a great job. So what Uma's doing is she's taking the avocado, that, that flesh, right? Out, yes. Right outside. Yes, yes, yes. And know, scooping it. Out. We need just the flesh here. Yep. Yeah. And as, um, when I went to buy this this morning, it, they'll tell you in the grocery store um, about if it's ripe. They'll usually put a little sticker on it that says ripe, mm -hmm. and you can push it. And mm. we were wondering how ripe it was, so what would you think? It was pretty ripe, right? Yeah, it was, because we have kind of little, little edging here, yep. you know, really yep. do that. Yeah, this came out really good. It did, yes. it did. So we need to mash it now, right? Yep, we need to mash it up. And so as you're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and go keep mashing, and I'm going to squeeze um, some lime juice. Okay. And, and so the, the recipe with How this, much is that, Ali? How much? You know, um, Auntie, that's a really good question. With one avocado, I usually, I, I took one lime here and cut it in half. Oh. And I'm going to start with definitely a good amount of half of it. 
and then I'm gonna add a little bit more and I always do lime to people's taste some people really like a lot of lime and some people don't so I start and then I'll go ahead and taste it but I know I like a little more so I'm gonna yeah, add of it. course you can add it later you too can if always you want add it. more right, right excellent excellent point and then to that I've got some jalapeno pepper this is half of the jalapeno and this can be really spicy. But yep, oh, yeah, it is spicy. Yeah. So we chop some up about half. What do you think? Should we add? Yeah, I think half is enough, I believe. You sure, know, should we add? If you really want more spicy, then you know, we can add more. Yeah, okay, maybe that's more? good enough. Should we start with yeah, that? Yeah, just start with okay. that. So about, about uh, a little bit there. And then we've got some onions. And Uma, of course, you save more onions, the better, right? Yeah. So I'll start with that oh, wow. amount. Onions we are could, a lot of we flavor. We could add any type of onion, right? Yeah, red onion, white so. onion. I've mostly made this with white, white onion onions. or red, red for color. And as Uma is doing, you just keep mixing it up. It's so easy to make, this guacamole. Should I add a few more onions? Yes, a few more onions. So this is just a little bit of diced onion. As you can see, I've diced it really fine, so you don't get that harsh bite of the onion when you bite into it. Yeah, yeah. Now, do you add tomato in your guacamole? Yes, yes, it's good. Yeah. It will add the color yeah. and it will add that tomato. Yeah. But if you don't like the taste of the tomato, you right. know, you can always keep it that way. Yes. yes, you can. My daughter doesn't like tomatoes. So yeah. you don't want tomato? Yeah. Okay. But I love tomatoes. So. Well, I have to say you are doing an excellent job of getting oh, that thank all together. You. And now I'm going to add a little salt. And so just to eyeball, uh, do salt to your taste. Maybe mm -hmm. one half a teaspoon. I think, I think this is enough. That was probably a good yeah. half teaspoon. Yeah. Maybe a little bit yeah. more than a half teaspoon. And then finally, I have some cilantro that's chopped up real fine. And sh I'll go ahead and add the cilantro. And how much is that? That about? probably is a good, uh, maybe about a good fourth of a cup. Fourth of a and cup, yeah. I, in our Indian culture, we eat a lot of cilantro, so oh. I was very liberal with that. Yeah, and it's also <laughs> with uh, your, according to your, you know, taste, according you can change taste, it. Right? Yeah. So what do you think? Very easy. It's summertime. It's a fresh flavor. You you love yep. guacamole. Oh, right? you can eat it cold yep. or you know warm. Yep. It's very really healthy. So you know, avocado yeah. is one of the you know healthiest. Right, mm -hmm. right. Use it on sandwiches, and we've got tortilla chips here. So, Uma, do you want to go ahead and um, finish that up? Give it a yep. stir, and then maybe give it a taste, and then oh, sure, um, I would love to <laughs> see if it needs anything else, and then we'll transfer to that dish. And then, um, Auntie, maybe we can get started on the oh, smoothie yeah. while Uma's doing that. Yeah. So, so we are so making we are um, making almond banana. Let me see. Banana, almond, honey, smoothie. Okay. Yeah. And we will add a little cinnamon for the spice. Okay, excellent. So let's start with the uh, um, two cups, no, two bananas. Two bananas? Yeah, two bananas. That you cut up? Okay. I cut up. Then we will add to the blender. Okay. Then um, two, two and a half cups of milk. Milk. And we're using We are using almond, almond milk. milk, but we can use the regular milk also. Okay. But we are using almond milk. Okay. So make it... Um, Two cups. Okay. So this is one cup. And that almond milk, this is an unsweetened one. I know you can buy sweetened or flavored Oh, yes. As well. Different types we can buy. Okay. So that was about a cup you about added. About a cup. And now I'm you're going to add one, one more, more cup. Yeah. Okay. How's our guacamole? Oh, that oh. looks beautiful. I know. I, I, Great I, job, Uma. Thank you. Okay. Then, um, then I am going to add a little bit of cinnamon okay. to for the spice. Great. Maybe half a half teaspoon. Half a teaspoon? Yeah. Okay. So... And of course, again, with smoothie, go with your flavors, right? Exactly, like. exactly. Okay. And uh, the honey, that gives the sweetness. Okay. So if it is a uh, sweet and almond, you don't need to use too much. Right. You know. But this time, I'm going to use two tablespoons. Okay. So maybe so you I want to borrow, borrow this one? one? Yeah. I'll switch the salt here. Right okay. Right. So you want to hold it, sure. really? I'll hold okay. it for you. I'll hold it out it. here. And this is... Um, just regular honey you're using. Just a regular right? honey, yeah. Okay, so that's about so a one tablespoon. tablespoon. So I'll drop that in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to go for one more. One and of more. course, banana's got a lot of sweetness in it too, yes. so that's going to help. That like will help. Said. So this is the second one. Yeah, okay. go ahead. There's two good tablespoons of yeah. honey. So it's good. Did you go over the yeah. yeah, I will okay. get it all in Get there. it all in that's there. That's the sweet oh, part, yeah. so you can't oh, miss sad. any of that. Oh, okay. that looks so good. Then some crushed rice. That's okay. all. That's all it is. Yeah, that's okay. all it is. Put okay. that there. That's simple. Is it? It's very simple, but it's really good. Good. Put it and uh, the blender cover. Make some noise. Here we go. Yep. <laughs> oh, all that's right. it. Look. So that's it. That's it. That's wow. it. You that's have the banana, easy. almond, honey smoothie. All here. right. Yeah.
All right. Yeah, well, that's good to, to me. Taste oh. this too. So can I pour that to the yes, glass? Yes, please do. I'll hold it for I'm ready you. to okay. taste everything here. You're ready to taste and eat. And... All right. There you go. Oh, look at how foamy and bubbly oh. and yummy that looks. It's really, it's yeah. really refreshing. It so, so smoothies good. are, here, I'll give this to you, Oma. Smoothies oh, are thank you. great to use yeah. um, breakfast, I would think. Oh. And um, even as a dessert, I suppose, too. Mm, tastes so oh, how, does it taste good. good? Yeah. It's delicious. It's, it's, it is very good. Okay. Okay. Mm, I'll put that wonderful. back here. So I'll give you this one. Okay, thank you. And then we have oh. to should try our guacamole, too, huh? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, already. So here's a... Um, how did that turn out? Mm. Is it good? It's good. It's very good. Oh. The cream, mm. the heat, that pepper, that was perfect. Mm -hmm. mm. You think so? Or you think we want to add more? Mm. more? I think the pepper is That's perfect. perfect. Yeah. That's yep. good. And that, um, what I like about that is it's easy to put it's together. Easy. Yes. But one thing I have to say is with avocado, one key component to the lime is it saves the color. Otherwise, with an avocado, oh, I never knew that. it'll start to turn brown. Oh. So it's really important to put some type of citrus on it, um, which will save the color. Yeah, it's that yeah. oxidation it's a good thing in everything. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's the oxidation, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. I never knew that. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for letting me know that. Yeah. That's <laughs> a lane, right? Every day we learn. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Now I'm going to taste. Let's taste the smoothie. Mm -hmm. I already tasted it. Oh, that is good. That good. cinnamon really came through. Yeah, I like that. The refreshing, right? It's like a very good thing in the morning. You know, right. the banana milk. What else is? You know, and and I have to say, I wasn't sure about the almond milk. I've heard about almond milk, and I wasn't sure what kind of taste that would be, but I really oh. find this really good and tasty. Oh, I like almond milk because yeah. I don't like na real milk. Okay, so, so I you always use drink almond milk. Yeah, if, yeah. if you don't you know, like diary yes. or you have, right. you know, you're, you don't tolerate, right. this yeah, is I'm a, a very big good fan alternative. Of this. It's yeah. a good alternative. Yeah, very it? good. Okay, well, this was great. I um, I hope our viewers will give this a try. It's quick, it's try. easy, and it's certainly summertime, so it's uh, nice and refreshing to have like for your guests or for your parties, right? So yeah. it's thank great. you so it's much, Ali. Thank you so much. It's so good. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, thank great you. ideas, and I thank you for both for being in the kitchen with me today. Yeah, yeah thank, thank you, you for having us. Yeah. You know, it's great. <laughs> All right. Well, we thank you for being with us today on It's a Woman's World, and we hope you'll give our recipes a try and uh, let us know what you think. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.